you're looking for three dog, he's upstairs. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. Oh, go right on up. You were expected. You can head right on up. He's waiting for you. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? This is Galaxy News Radio. The last free voice of the people of the Wasteland. The Brotherhood of Steel makes sure of that. Three Dog is right upstairs. Okay, just make sure not to interfere with our operations. Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the D.C. area? This is the last free radio station in the entire D.C. area. The rest of the airwaves are clotted up with enclave propaganda. I wouldn't believe a word they say anywhere else. Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the enclave station. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio reports on what's really happening. We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of DC. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. It's nice to have a port in the storm, you know? Sure, good luck to you. Let's see the super mutants try and take this place now. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. Watch yourself out there. Sorry, I'm on guard duty. Wouldn't want this place to get overrun with super mutants. Go away. So, what's the... 
the latest report. Enclave troops have fortified the purifier complex. With those vertebrates, they're able to transport personnel at a remarkable rate. Welcome, friend. My brothers may be gruff, but they will lay down their lives. Babysitting radio station. If you'd rather run around out there. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Hey, when you're in the good fight, you gotta give it all you got and never ever hold back. Always dazzle them, I always say. Always dazzle them and spread the word. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the capital wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. Well, holy shit. Aren't you a chip off the old block? You are as smart as your dad. Since you know all about this cause, no need to explain the effect. Let's get you on your way. Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before, and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer, someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? You wanna find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Well... Your dad is some sort of scientist type, some kind of egghead or something. You really think if you find him, he'd help our cause? When your dad passed through here, I spent a good long time talking to him about all kinds of stuff. 
He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Something about a Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then, he left in a hurry. You've never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of eggheads got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. So, you came back. That's good. The good fight can always use another soldier. Imagine a picture of... But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slave... They can't. Not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. So that's where I enter the picture. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the capital wasteland. Hell, someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave station. Oh, I have plenty of enemies that would love nothing more than to put a bullet between my eyes. The only thing keeping that from happening is Sarah Lyons and the Brotherhood of Steel. We broke it a sweet deal. They keep me from taking a dirt nap, and I keep a strong roof over their head. From what I saw, they were the ones who saved your ass. They keep the ruins super mutant free so people like you can get to people like me in one piece. Without them, we'd be knee deep in muty shit. Sorry. I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer. I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. We got one rule in the good fight, though. You want help, you gotta contribute. I hear things all the time. Most things aren't useful. But once in a while, something will sneak up behind your girl and lift a dress. Consider this your lucky day. I just so happen to know the location of an old military weapons cache untouched by time. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I, I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of D.C. can hear a cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one who can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes, too. That's why Three Dogs helping you. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're gonna be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you. You look like someone with about a million questions. Lay them on me. Well, it's only the tallest thing left in the city. When you step out of the museum, take a good look across the mall. You can't miss it. Just be careful. There may still be a security barrier around it. Head out the back door of GNR and take the collapsed car tunnel to the other side of DuPont. Then take the metro tunnels until you're there. Hey, be careful, though. You'll have to find another way back, because it's a one-way trip. Without this place, 
DC would be filled with that crap the Enclave keeps shoveling out of their radio station and festering with muties. Someone's gotta tell the Wastelanders what time it is, and Three Dog is the one to do it. No one knows what Eden and his horsemen of the apocalypse are up to, but you can be sure it isn't in the common man's best interest. Ha! <laughs> Man's monument to his own demise. All the garbage they displayed in there is the reason half the world was blown to shit. That shithole is located just off the mall. You know, that huge space in the center of the city in front of the capital. Be careful. The whole place is swarming with super mutants. Well, if you check out your radio, you can hear pretty good in this place. Get a few blocks away, still not too bad. Maybe a little static. Step outside the city limits. And it's Snake City. Nothing but hiss. With the relay back on, you'll hear GNR clearly in the whole Capital Wasteland area like it used to be. Three dogs seen it all. The Capital Wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food. Wounded children wandering aimlessly. Some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. Why candy coat the news when the world is in danger? People like the Enclave would have you believe everything is calm and totally under control. They're lying. Hell, President Eaton goes around spreading peace, love, and government, but no one even knows how old that Enclave signal really is. People need to hear the truth. It's a harsh world. We've got to work together to make it better, not wait for Uncle Sam to ride in and save the day. You've got to understand, if I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you've got a funny way of looking at things. Parents? Ha! I was born from the sun and have sand in my veins. Ha <laughs> ha! Just messing with you. My parents were very cool. They preached all about the haters and their bullshit, how to tell the propaganda from the real deal. Okay, go for it. Right on, right on. Keep your radio tuned to GNR for the real gospel. Questions? I'm your answer, man. 